unplug that. What's going on, beautiful souls? What's going on? Just want to say it's going to be an amazing day. It's a little cold, but, you know, God woke me up today. We're we going we gonna to get to it. Blessings are raining down. You are marvelous. You are fabulous. You do what it do. All right, let's get a little deeper. You have what it takes to, excuse me, you have what it takes to win. Your dedication is developing into a monster. Your determination is growing every day like the world's fastest plant. It was just in my head, that's why I said that. God is good though. Uh, on this marvelous day, on this Friday, I have no idea what channel will put this on. Just, just chopping it up. I just wanna be thankful, just working on my thankfulness. Just working on my thankfulness. God has given me what I need. I lack nothing. This world around me bends to my every whim. If I want it, if I mentally crave, I want to be better. I am working harder. I am doing better. I am doing more. I am more proficient. I am more productive. My response time is faster. I'm getting to it. Quick snaps, like Snapple, like Snapple Apple. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. But I just wanted to say, keep up the good work. It's baby steps, it's baby steps, it's baby steps. Try not to overdo it, then you gotta take six steps back, right? Patience is really key. Patience is really key. It's a lot of stuff that's going on. It's a lot of stuff that's happening. My daughter starts her, her she plays her first game next week. A lot of crazier stuff, a lot more crazier stuff has been happening, but when 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 you operate in a in an area or in a realm of I'm only gonna focus on what I can control, you'll start to see who's really consistently trying to put in work to better themselves. And as I was say, I don't know if I'm going off a topic with this, but this was just a thought in my mind. You know what I'm saying while the video was playing. Remember yesterday I said everybody doesn't deserve everybody. That, that's why they say everybody don't deserve to be a parent. <clears throat> There's so many crazy situations going on, right? And that, that's that's not to say that the world isn't tough. The world isn't hard. But I forgot who was saying it, but I got a bunch of clips. I could toss them in whenever I feel like it. But dude was like, was it, was it Gary? I forgot who it was. I'm trying to remember. But he was just like, no, nah, the, the Seth, Seth Rogen. That's what I'm saying. I think I, think, I, think I, had, I had to process that a little bit. But it was Seth Rogen. If I'm not mistaken, he was like, the only way to win is to never quit. That's the secret formula. That's it. Don't quit. That's the formula. That's the secret sauce. That's the juice. And he was like, because on the other end of it, you never find out if you quit. You'll never find out if you can do it. You'll never find out how successful you can be. You'll never find out how many failures you're going to have because you quit. Remember, failure doesn't mean... I, I, failure means you kind of suck at it. Failure doesn't mean I need to quit because I can't get better at it, if that makes sense. If you don't quit, you might make it. And if you quit, you definitely won't. <laughs> and, and honestly, I think after all the years I've seen people make it and not make it, the only common denominator is, is that. Like, I've seen actors write themselves off be like i'm never gonna fucking do this and i've seen people get lucky very at random times through random ways i always think about like ian mckellen like did you had you heard of him before he was 65 years old like that guy i didn't like as i had never fucking heard the words ian mckellen until he was magneto in x-men then all of a sudden he's like in lord of the rings he's been one of the most famous people on earth he got famous when he's like 60. like like that's what happens to people sometimes you know what i mean it, it's like you never know you know and so i think that is is what's interesting is and if you like it then just don't quit uh i can't say i'm in shock to see the situations that i'm seeing but i will be speaking up now and that's that's the that's probably the biggest thing or the biggest change for me is that i'm going to put my family in better places i'm going to be the one hey here this is what needs to go. This is what's going on. This is what needs to happen. I got a little cousin that I'm fear that I'm that I'm in fear. I'm fearful for, and that's what I'm saying. You got to learn that you you us like when 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 you want to really work on your energy, you got to learn how to not give it away. 
And not giving it away means not caring about a lot of situations that somebody else is gonna feel some type of way about. And you saying, that, ain't, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. But that's what I'm saying, we dealing with minors. I'ma always ride for the kids. When I say I'm working on myself to be a better father, fuck it, you better believe I'm working on myself to be a better father. I talk to my child all the time. Shit, I put her on camera, I don't care. So she can tell you herself is what I mean by that. It's a constant battle. But I talk to my child about the struggle. So so she can realize like, nah, my dad talk about it all the time. And as I was saying, depending on, I'm getting better. You know what I'm saying? It might, it might be in small increments, but believe me, it's still getting worked on. So my child understands. But if I said, I'm saying you grown as you, these, these be grown as people grown i'm talking about almost 35 and still not understanding and you just like what the fuck is going on why why are you like this because this doesn't make no sense I'm telling you you was like it, it's, it, it makes my brain hurt because we got these little boys that we gotta make sure understand this world correctly so they don't get taken advantage of and like we still got moms and dads that's still okay with being a fucking victim. I'm like, your child is gonna be in so much trouble, bro. Do you really think you do you really think you at where you need to be? Your child is about to be in trouble. And I'm saying and I'm not even trying to sound crazy. And that's what I'm saying. That's that's what me saying, that's what me talking to my child. To my child. And I'm saying this little boy is related to my family. I'm just like, I have a problem with the way you're treating him. I have a problem with this whole fucking situation. I, I do, I do, I do think, you know what I'm saying, like, and that's why it gets rough, because I be ruffling feathers, because, you know what I'm saying, I helped raise my brother, so I'll talk crazy to his daddy and not give a fuck, you know what I'm saying, like, go ahead, that's your son, that's your seed, I raise that little nigga, though, you know what I'm saying, what you gonna say about that, you know what I'm saying, we can fight, you know what I'm saying, and that's why I be like, hey, we, if, if it's just hands, we ain't talk about no other violence, we can throw down, I, that don't bother me at all, I'll take an L, and spit the blood out, spit the blood out all in your area still disrespecting your ass that's what i'm saying i don't and 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 and, and for my brother to see somebody really going hard for him that's what i'm saying like moms my, to the moms that really go hard for their kids to the dads that really go hard for your kids i'm not even talking to y'all y'all know what it is y'all know what it is and y'all go hard for your kids in in all aspects but when you got these motherfuckers that's out here it's some of these parents that's making me sick bro and that's what I'm saying. Then, then they raise, then, then, then they have children in their possession, and they're, they're they don't ever really do the self work. And that's what I'm saying. I saw a video, and the woman was like, "We know, I know how hard it is." And she was pretty much going through the steps. And she was like, "And when your kids get out the house, and when your kids leave this nest, and you can get some peace and quiet again, go work on your mental health. Go get a therapist." And I'm gonna say, hopefully, hopefully, I could find that video because she was really, she was really spitting some good game because it's like. Nah, dead ass. After your kids leave the house, after your, uh, like, it, after the oldest, I'm saying, depending on how many you have, like, if you got half of them that can leave the house and then now the house is more peaceful, you need to go get a therapist because you can still have emotional trauma that you don't realize. You can still have emotional trauma baggage literally deep down that you don't even realize and you can't do nothing about. But go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe. You want more on this topic or me just chopping it up? Go ahead and um, toss something in the comments and, um, we can start a conversation from it. God is good.